Yo, what's good guys? This is Theo here. Welcome back to part 35 of Introduction to C++, C++ Programming. Um, so let me go ahead and go to my profile real quick. Let's open up the course and uh, let's go into it. So we're back on functions, on function overloading. So function overloading allows to create multiple functions with the same name so long as they have different parameters. Okay, that makes sense. You have different uh, use cases. So for example, you might need a print number function that prints the value of its parameter. So here it takes in an integer, and then we're printing to the console output stream the value of A, or what it points to. This is effective with integer arguments only. Overloading it will make it available for other types, such as floats. Okay, so this takes in a float, whereas this takes in, this, this takes in an integer. So we can sort of see how we're you know, building our software in a more uh, flexible way. Now the same print number function will work for both integers and floats. So fill in the blanks to declare a function print number and overload it. Declare one print number that takes an int and the other takes a float. Excuse me. Takes an int and then this one takes a float. So just what they had. Cool. Um, when overloading functions, the definition of the function must differ from each other by the types and or the arguments or the number of arguments. So here we have an integer and a float. Okay. Um, so again, just uh, reinforcing that muscle memory. And as you can see, the function call is based on the argument provided. An integer argument will call the function implementation that takes an integer parameter. A float argument will call the implementation taking a float parameter. So the compiler is smart enough to understand which one you want to call based on what you pass in. So when are two functions with the same name called overloaded? Okay, uh, so if they have different numbers or type of parameters, awesome. So uh, you cannot overload function declarations that differ only by return type. So here's a good example, right? Um, although each function uses the same name, the only difference from one to the other is the return type, which is not allowed. Okay, so they need to have a uh, different return type and a different parameter. So fill in the blanks to overload the function sum, which takes two parameters of the numeric type and prints their sum to the screen. Overload the sum function of integers and floats. So int a, int b, and float a float b and we're going to print out a plus b awesome so uh yeah guys that was it for part 35 hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next video take care